Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and this is episode number nine, and we're starting off right away with Whale Bay and the Silver Coin Challenge that goes with it. So, uh, yeah, we are going to be doing this, and hopefully we'll do it right with uh, little to no problems. I was having a few problems earlier. I had a recording that was almost six minutes long, and uh, it wasn't so good. I wasn't doing too hot, but uh, this time around... Maybe we'll do a little bit better. Really, I'm actually recording to take my mind off of things, and I actually haven't talked about this yet, uh, really, because I haven't had a uh, reason to talk about it because of, you know, things that have happened, and just, uh, my situation really hasn't called for me to really bring it up because, you know, I haven't had to make an excuse or anything yet, so. That's good, but uh, it's time to talk about good old wrestling. And, uh, the fact that I am, you know, in wrestling season, started the day after Thanksgiving, and it's going, you know, it's going by quite fantastically, um, except for one little itty-bitty part that is actually going to, you know, be done, um, quite soon, really, uh, and that is something called hydration. And, uh, you know, it sounds pretty self-explanatory, but there's a bit more to go into, you know, a hydration test than just being hydrated like it might sound. Really, it's like the methods. And basically what hydration is, is you have to prove, I guess, with... Oh, wait! Oh, that was the third? That was the third? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm getting distracted talking about wrestling, and I'm not paying attention to the goddamn... Damn it! <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, whatever. Take two. Um, but with hydration, what it is, is you have to drink a certain amount of water, and basically, your pee has to be clear, like, crystal clear, too. Like, you go in the toilet, and the water really doesn't even change colors. Um, I mean, you can have, you know, a little bit of a tint, but, you know, preferably you don't want to. And I'm not exactly sure, you know, I mean, you always want to be hydrated, of course, but I don't really get the whole, the whole point of it, because, considering, like, really, right after hydration, most people just, you know, they, they just do whatever they want, and because they don't have to worry about it, so it's pretty much just, you know, worrying about, you know, your weight, because obviously... You know, wrestling's known for its, you know, weight classes and, you know, having to cut and all that jazz. But, it's like, this hydration thing is killing me this year. Uh, just cause, I don't know, I failed the first time, and you can only, you know, you can obviously retest. I mean, it's not like, you know, one and done, you, know, you screw up once, then you're, you know, you're screwed. But, it's quite annoying. Ha like failing because that means I'm prolonging the amount of time or yeah I'm, I'm extending the amount of time that I can't do certain things one of those things is eat you know whatever foods that I want um because one of the main things with uh um you know the hydration is it's not only drinking like a ass ton of water um you know to get it into your system but it's also eating things that are not going to make you uh I don't know, bad. You know, you know, potato chips, no fried food, no caffeine, uh, no vitamin. You don't want to drink, you know, like Gatorade or anything if you're into that stuff. So basically, I've been deprived of all the, you know, the good things that I like to eat normally. And as far as weight goes, you know, which is what those bad things um, also contribute, weight goes, I'm fine. But it's just like after tomorrow, or well, actually, it's past the, the date at, by the time you'll be watching this. But it's like, it's it really is killing me inside, and I needed something to take my mind off of it. And uh, that's where Let's Playing comes in, because I figure, you know, I'm, I'm sitting, you know, looking out into my kitchen, looking at all these, you know, wonderful goodies that I could be snacking on right now had I passed the first time. But no, I had to go be a butt lunch and fail, so, yeah. But getting back to the game, because I'm sure you don't give a fuck about, you know, my wrestling problems, but, uh, this is Crescent Island, like I said earlier, probably one of my favorite levels, and, uh, for good reason, um, it's quite fun, 
And the silver coin mission really isn't all that uh, hard. Um, the only the only coin that you might miss is over there. Um, I know I missed it again, but it's all right. I'll you know I'll be able to catch it on the the uh, the back way. But it's really not too difficult. Um, all the silver coins. Um, as, you know, the, the reason why it's not so difficult is because it's kind of easy to, uh, to get around, you know, um, you know, pretty quickly, and, uh, as far as, like, like, them being out there, the only one that you, you might miss is the one all the way over here, um, and even then, it's not that bad, because you can get such a, a good lead in this level that it really, you know, really shouldn't hurt you too much. But, uh, yeah. But, then basically, you know, that's why I'm recording right now, because I probably could take a break, and I probably should take a break. Uh, but, you know, I seriously, like... It happened to me last night, uh, and my testing, well, we're currently it's 11.40 p.m. on Tuesday, and my testing's Wednesday afternoon, and on Monday night, uh, I was, I was in the same position, you know, like, right before I'm gonna go to bed, I, I was feeling kinda hungry, didn't know what to eat, normally I'll just snack on whatever, you know, you know, catches my eye first. And there are just so many like treats. I, 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 I you know, it's not even so much so much that there's like more than there normally is. It's just because I'm like I can't have any of them. Things that I normally wouldn't even look at like are looking so good right now. It's just, you know, it's quite the experience. It's not very fun, but uh, you know, it has to be done. And it's all good. But on the plus side, it's all worth it this year. Because last year, you know, when I when I wrestled, I was a uh, junior varsity, which is kind of like you know easy kids group. And this year, I'm in varsity, so that's a big plus. <sighs> but man, it's like it's really difficult not to just eat. Cause I had I, like I had a bowl of Cookie Crisp, and I'm sure Cookie Crisp isn't the best cereal for me to be uh, you know snacking on. But I just I couldn't help myself. Like I needed something. But then after, you know, after tomorrow, then it's all good. I can eat, you know, an entire pizza pie if I want, as long as I uh, don't, like, get too carried away with my weight. Which, uh, like I said, just finished saying, is not really a problem. And what also isn't a problem is uh, this uh, silver coin challenge, because it is really easy to catch up. Um... And not so hard to uh, and, and, and kind of hard to fall behind. I don't know if it's just the way the AI is programmed. But besides the one that you saw earlier where, you know, it's like way off to the far uh, right, none of these are, you know, terribly difficult to, um, to uh, get. And you shouldn't have too many problems. Uh, I, I had a pretty um, hefty lead. Oh, man. I saw my I saw the screen on my TV fade and I checked my laptop just to make sure that you know like, nothing was happening. Wow. But uh, we are up to 29 balloons. We're about to collect our 30th. So this is pretty good. And then after this, we'll collect the third piece of the amulet. So we're going around by quite a uh, nice way. And here we have uh, I think it was Treasure Caves is the name of this, and it goes back to like the easy you know silver coin for me. Not too hard. Um, some, you know, that one's a little far out. That one's, you know, somewhat kind of far out, but really, not so, not so hard. Uh, um, really, the main problem that you'll, you, you might face is winning, but that shouldn't really be too much of a problem either. Even for, you know, first place is really not all that much ahead of me. But if I keep on missing these damn zipper things, then I'm never gonna get it. Swing by, grab that. Yeah, I'll grab that on the third run around. Man, I really need to hit some of these zippers, otherwise I am screwed. Alright, there we go. Catapults me right into fourth. But now it's just getting that last coin and also catching up to uh, first place, so let's do so accordingly. Oh, wow! 
he hit me and made me miss that. So let's restart. <laughs> but anywho, um, in non, you know, personal problem news, uh, you know, LP-wise, I think this is going along, uh, very speedy, actually. Um, I figured it would take a little bit longer than it is, than it has been, but, you know, nine episodes is not too shabby for, uh, you know, being almost done with the, uh, the entire third area. Or, this is, yeah, you know, th this is episode nine. I was thinking it was episode 10 for a second, but it's not. But, uh, now all we have to do is beat Timber and, uh, Crunch Diddy. And that should not be, a, I mean, if I, you know, finally, if I, if I could get some of these power-ups, I keep on missing them. Alright, so we have an entire lap to kind of catch up, and that's good. And, uh... So, who is your favorite character? I don't know why I like asking questions so much, but who, who is your favorite character so far? As you can see, I'm obviously, you know, strictly playing as Conker, kind of getting you in the, the mode of looking at a squirrel, because Conker's Bad Fur Day is next. That is without a doubt um, my next LP. And you'll be looking at a lot of Conker, uh, so making sure you get it. But I, I mean, I know, I know people love Tip Top, uh, Tip Top's some of, you know, people's favorite characters. And, uh, I know people are very partial to, you know, Banjo and Diddy because they're both, you know, big mainstream characters. But, uh, you know, where, where's the love for Bumper? Come on, I want to see any Bumper fans, or any Crunch fans, really. Yeah, Bumper and Bumper and Crunch need some more love and Drumstick too, but I haven't gotten Drumstick yet, so you know, can't really uh, talk about him yet. Anyway, here's the second uh, race against this Squid guy, and you will soon find out why I hate this level so damn much. Unless I'm just like I remember how to do it and I can do it on my first try. But I highly, highly doubt that. Um, we'll see, though. Hopefully. That'd be awesome if that was the case. But basically, he drops these bubbles instead of, uh, you know, whatever he dropped last time. He dropped, um, uh, he dropped those, like, missile things. Or those, like, spike things. And those were a bit more, uh, tame than perhaps these. Because these, uh, these prevent you from moving together, whereas these stop you, and then, like, just drop you, and that is no good. So, basically, the way that I like to play this is, I like to use the missiles rather than, you know, say, some of the boosters, because the missiles are going to slow him down, where, and he's really fast, and the boosters isn't really going to do that much to him. I mean, it'll do some. It will help. It will help you some, but not really enough, in my opinion. So, yeah. See, we lose. Damn it! I have no idea how many tries this is gonna take, and I'm kind of scared. Cause the first time that I did this, oh man, like it took forever. Yeah, but. I just completely talked over him. I don't care, though. Okay, so this is, uh... I don't know. I don't know what take this actually wound up being. But this is post-recording because my catch record glitched. And I had to record it on a side thing. And, uh... Yeah, all that fun stuff. So anyway, this is, uh... The boss fight. I mean, I know I showed... I believe I showed, um... Me try it before. Uh, and... You know... It's still as annoying as ever, and this run that I took of it, uh, didn't really, like, like, I don't remember how many tries it took me the original time that I tried to record it, but then I tried to record it again, and I think I got this on my second try, um, on, you know, when I didn't have to, like, talk or anything, so I'm just going to assume that when I'm not talking or 
I'm concentrating more and I can play better, or I was just like, you know, I had played it so many times up until that point that I was able to just, get, you know, get it pretty quickly. But, um, yeah, I feel like I got kind of lucky on this section, um, because at, at the point, actually, I do remember one of the things that I was thinking while I was playing this, yeah, I was to see, I was, I just said, you know, screw it, I'm not gonna go for any of the power-ups, I'm just gonna, you know, straight up just race him, and see how close I get, because I was trying to prove a point to myself, like I normally do when I get angry, just to, you know, convince myself that I'm not going insane, and that I don't suck, it's just, you know, it's, uh, it's just, you know, the AI, you know, it's really just that hard, but, um, I turned out to be, I don't know, I guess right and wrong, um, but, you know, I, so I just decided to just race him, and I wound up getting pretty close to passing him at this point, um, but then bullshit like this happens right here. And he shoots a bubble in f into me and gets me. And at this point, I was just furious, um, really angry. But I said, you know what? Screw it. Whatever. I don't care. And, uh, you know, I just decided to keep on going with it. And you'll see. Um, if you're wondering why it, why it's a little choppy, well, that speed up thing happened, but I decided to say, you know what? Screw it. And I just uh, slowed it down to a suitable... Uh, you know, speed, but, so here I pick up the, the red balloon, I home into him, hit him, and that slowed him down just enough for me to, like, beat him by, like, a nose hair, and I was, I was ecstatic, um, although I may not seem so right now, because I am rather tired. Um, and if you're wondering why there's no background audio, like, as in, you know, why there's no, uh, like, you can't hear the squid guy, or you couldn't hear any of the music for this, uh, because I had to speed it up and slow it down, um, basically what happens is when it speeds up, uh, like that, um, the audio doesn't, so it just sounded really weird, and it didn't sync at all, so I just, uh, just, just decided to mute it altogether, um, so if you were wondering about that, yeah, that's the explanation. But, um, yeah, that was the squid boss. We have three-fourths of the amulet, and, uh, in the next episode, we will be going on to our new area, uh, and that should be swell. Uh, I don't know how much longer is in the game. I, you know, I need to do some research, but it's coming, uh, along quite, uh, quickly. Uh, see you next time.